Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to today's jailbreak update. Now, a little bit behind of the times, but I just updated to the latest version of the Chimera jailbreak, so I wanted to share my experience and show you guys what is new with the latest updates. Now, both Uncover as well as the Chimera jailbreak, you can update to the latest version of them just by simply deleting the application off your device and reinstalling it through Ignition or Tweakbox. Again, links to these will be down below. Anyway, hopping into Chimera, the latest update includes the Sock Puppet exploit that was just released a few weeks ago. So now instead of using the other two outdated, slower and less reliable methods, now you can select Sock Puppet and now when you go to jailbreak or re-enable your jailbreak, the reliability is just incredible and it's super quick. Literally, I can't even talk about it before it finishes up. Anyway guys, that's how quick, as you guys saw literally on my first take of this video, the exploit has worked perfectly fine. And if I go ahead and unlock my device, now it recognized my face. If I go to my jailbreak section and go into Celio, as you guys can see, everything is loaded up and working perfectly fine. Now, as you guys can see, I don't have any tweaks on my current setup, but if I go into Chimera, I am currently jailbroken. I just wanted to show you guys how quick this exploit is on a stock jailbreak experience. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and go into my jailbreak folder, go into snapback and restore my latest update, my main tweak setup, and then I'm going to show you how quick it is to actually enable the jailbreak with a bunch of tweaks. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead, plug my device in, do this restore real quick and be right back. So here we are, here's the second test, re-enabling the jailbreak with a bunch of tweaks. Now, it's worth noting that the Sock Puppet exploit is now used as the default exploit for both Chimera as well as the uncovered jailbreak utilities. And as you guys can see with a bunch of tweaks, the jailbreak process is just as quick, but the respring process definitely takes a bit longer. Anyhow guys, let's let this finish up. I'll show you guys my current jailbroken setup, but that is the major update that I wanted to share with you guys. The new exploit that has come out is absolutely incredible as far as reliability goes, as well as speed. And it's really not even worth testing or comparing it to the other two because it absolutely blows them out of the water. Instead of taking 20 or 30 seconds to jailbreak, this takes a mere three, four, or five seconds. Anyhow guys, if you are new to jailbreaking and wanna check out our longer dedicated tutorial on how you jailbreak as well as what devices are supported and things like that, that will be linked in your cards now or down below in this video's description. And if you guys wanna learn how to switch between jailbreak setups with snapback, we also have a video dedicated to that as well. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, you know what to do, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.